Today, we're going to see this house. We found this house through a website called Sumo. Sumo is just like at home here in Japan. That's equivalent to Trulia or Homes.com back in the US. The house is $108,000. It has four rooms plus living, dining, and kitchen. It was built in 1991. The house size is 118.5 square meters or 1,275 square feet. The land size is 234.68 square meters or 0 0.057 of an acre. Now we're heading towards the house. We're still in the suburbs of town, although this side's a little bit countryside. A little bit. But it's raining today, so sorry about the overcast. And here's the house. It's got plenty of parking. front of the house. We can film here, but like I said, there was a lot of wind today and rain, so it's hard to shoot outside. My umbrella broke. And this is the entrance. Yeah, the wood floor in the front was really nice, the wood floors. You know. It's got that open feeling in the front. Now it's the shoe box, shoe closet. And here we're going into the living dining kitchen. That's the room next to the living dining kitchen, which I would have wanted to do for the classroom, but you'd have to go through the living dining kitchen to get there. That's unfortunate. So that doesn't really work out for me. Could be a nice house for other people, sure. It's got the, that's a wallpaper, right? Not sand, I believe. It's the outside of the house. And I don't know, something hit that. Well, it's not a carport. It's like a little porch roof. We'll see it in a minute, but got pretty banged up on the top. This is the open, this is living dining kitchen. And that's the only place you can put the TV there in this room. It's just kind of a funny, you know, if you like to have the TV facing the kitchen and all that, you couldn't do that there. Neighbors are still pretty close. You'd have to add a fence. Let's see, you can see the roofs caved in here, like I was saying. So I think a lot of snow hit it or something. That needs to be replaced. It's kind of brand new. Breaker box, yeah, that's good. Kitchen, it's electric, the stove, there's underneath, a key trap, whatnot. There's the hood.
to the burner, electric, the grill. It's really close to the neighbor's house. So you always see that, you know, there's no room here, so everything's on top of each other. You know, you really have to put a big fence or something. And that would be where the laundry hookup is. And a little pedestal and vanity. Underneath the hot and cold heat trap, and then there's the tub, the wet room. The tub's really small. I know I couldn't fit in there. <laughs> Costs some money to replace that, and they might have to, I don't know how they'd probably have to make the room bigger, do it a different way, configure it a different way. It would cost some money to fix that. Okay, this is the toilet. It's really small. Very, very narrow in here. I don't know, some people might not be able to fit in that back home, but here I guess everybody would be all right. It's definitely not ADA, you know, that's for sure. And that seemed pretty far away from the toilet. Head upstairs. Got a nice open feeling in the foyer. And there's the hall. Hall's narrow too. This is one room. It's a tatami room again. That's good if you like to sleep on the floor. You can sleep on the futon and on the floor. What that was designed for. Some people like that over here. Oh, yeah, and that's the sheds, right? And the roof looks pretty rusty on the sheds. Paint that. And doesn't look like it's broke though. This is another bedroom. It's a wood floor. Well, you know, laminate wood floor. Mini split top. Tile roof. AC is right there on the tile. And it's just sitting there. Is that safe? I have no idea. Closet. Interesting wallpaper, palm trees or something. And third bedroom upstairs. Yeah, so it's three bedrooms upstairs, one down. It's also the wood laminate flooring, the mini split. It's kind of the same thing. It's the adjacent room, so. closet 
could be a good house starter up house and two kids it's not a bad little place I guess you know just doesn't work for us the rental house right 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 yeah that could be good for that too right you could somebody could want to buy it to do an investment right yeah sure I know they probably could get what seven hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a month. You think something like that here? Maybe six. You think closer to six because it's a little bit further out, but it's got three parking, right? Two to three, right? So maybe seven. Yeah, that's what I was thinking because it has the parking. If you concreted that and made that better on this side, I mean that could be good. But I do like the the open feeling here. That's really really nice. It reminds me of back home, you know, some of the houses, the foyer and the entrance looks good. But the wood floor in the front was what I liked the best out of the whole house, actually. You know, I mean, it wouldn't be bad. It would suit us if it didn't have, if it had another doorway going into that first tatami room, it would be good. But you can make a wall. No, you really don't have the room. I looked at that. In the, you know, right there at the entrance where that wall begins, you know what I'm saying? You'd hate, you don't really want to build another wall there. And then the window's sitting there. It's kind of, it would be funny, you know, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying to you, right? You see how the window's there? Yeah, yeah exactly. it doesn't like match up with the other side of that where you would put the TV. Yeah, I thought about that too. And then I was like, I was, that's what I was looking at a lot, you know. In the weeks to follow, we're planning on shooting more house hunting videos, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, matane. Bye-bye.